to 31 days of Halloween. If you're new to my channel, 31 days of Halloween is where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every day in October. Be sure to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any videos. This video is a collab with the one and only Jordan Huns. She is an incredible body painter who also happens to be one of my best friends. Over on her YouTube channel, she's doing Hanzaween, which is 31 days of Halloween makeup tutorials all throughout the month of October. Definitely go check her out if you haven't and subscribe to her YouTube channel. For this video, we decided to do pop art demons. To see how I created my version, keep on watching. I look like Sully. Wow, this looks so good. I'm like really happy with it. As you can see from the previous clips, I struggled massively when trying to nail down a concept for this video. The final look was the sixth try. If anything, this goes to show that no matter how much practice you have, we all make mistakes. I decided on a light blue base for my demon, finally. So I covered my entire face and chest in a sky blue water activated paint. Using a white cream paint, I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Paint Stick. I patted onto the high points of my face that would be the cheekbones and the center of my forehead and nose. Ignore the horns that you currently see on my head, I will end up removing those later and replacing them with smaller, more manageable horns. This is the part where I failed as a YouTuber. You're probably watching this and wondering, wow Christy, the one part of the tutorial I needed to know. And you're out of focus and out of frame. And to that I say, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here's a still frame of the shape that I drew and the upper mandible. Screenshot it and you can work off of that image. And again, I am so sorry. Moving on, I filled in each of the teeth with a white water activated body paint and used pink to fill in the gum area above. It will later change to orange because I can't make up my mind. Just stay with me. I took a dark blue and went under the upper mandible part to shade underneath. Then I took a dark black eyeshadow and started shading below the teeth and gums. Shading in between the gum ridge and between each tooth to really solidify the shape. After so many failed attempts, I had to jump around during painting to make sure that this one also wasn't a failure. I painted on a furrowed brow in the shape that you see here, and I painted my pink gums orange. Blue and orange are really complementary colors together, so that's why I decided on this color scheme. Finally. After six tries. I also started to add on details. Again, I jump around because I was unsure of the direction of the makeup look laying down the black lines of the hollowed out collarbone area, and here's where I changed the horns. Pop art's all about dark black lines lining all of the colorful areas and bright vivid colors. I molded these horns out of Model Magic and glued them to my face with Prosade Adhesive. Model Magic is a Play-Doh like substance with a foamy texture that's super, super light and works really great for projects like this. Over the entire teal surface of my face, I blended a shadow color similar to the paint on top to make blending easier. Then I used a darker blue to shade the outer areas of the face. I painted each horn orange and lined the bottom in black to bring the lines up the horn. I like to add shading and highlighting, even though pop art looks are typically very two dimensional. I add shadows into all the areas of the face where there would naturally be deeper tones and highlight each of the areas with white that would pop out. Because this is a pop art look, outlining everything in a deep black is essential. 
I could explain more in words how I did the entire look, but really watching the techniques and recreating them on yourself is going to be the most beneficial when doing a makeup look like this, or one using similar techniques. Layering and patience are key. Making sure to shade for a long time and always do a nice bright highlight. One thing that I've learned is that makeup looks like these take a lot of time and love. Detail shading like I'm doing here around the mouth adds such depth that makes it gain realism the more that you layer. So grab a small fine brush and a deep dark shadow and blend it between each highlighted portion to make the shadows really sink in and appear hollowed. I created an area on my chest that looks like there are tears exposing the inner of my rib cage. I made a large asymmetrical shape out of orange paint and then painted blue lines in between it, which when outlined in black looks like strings of ripped open skin. Again, jumping around, I created a lower mandible and two large demonic teeth that extend up into the hollow areas. In the orange open space, you'll see the blue points at the top. Shade the darkest right under these, signifying that the orange is in our body and that the blue skin is casting a shadow by being over top of it. I started with a dark orange shadow, and then where I wanted the deepest color, I used black over the top. To highlight the center, I then patted on some more of the white cream paint to add dimension. I then highlighted each blue raised area to signify a curve in the skin next to the shadowed areas on my shoulders and by the sides of the torn chest. Afterwards, I added a pop of orange under the bottom teeth to look like lower gums and shaded all around them with a dark orange eyeshadow. For looks like these, the finishing steps are deepening all of the blacks and highlighting all of the whites to really make the entire thing stand out. After so much blending, a lot of the lines lose their deepness and their brightness. White dots are a signature in pop art, and when used even in small amounts, add to the entire aesthetic. I outlined my entire arms and shoulders in the black water activated paint to make my whole body appear more sculpted, as if I'm almost cartoon. I then popped on some lashes and white out contacts from CamoEyes.com. As an afterthought, I realized the chest was way too basic, so then I added some ribs and shaded with black underneath them. And that's it, I hope you guys love this pop art demon collab with Jordan Hans. This one was super fun for me to do and really tested my skills as an artist. So I hope you guys like it. And if you do recreate it, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see your guys' makeup looks. Make sure to tune in tomorrow and every other day this October for more Halloween costume makeup looks. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be notified when my videos go live, which will be at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching and visiting my YouTube channel. And I will see you at my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you're new to my channel, 31 Days of Halloween is where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every day in October. Be sure to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any videos. This video is a collab with the one and only Jordan Hans. 
She is an incredible body painter who also happens to be one of my best friends. Over on her YouTube channel, she's doing Hanzaween, which is 31 Days of Halloween makeup tutorials all throughout the month of October. Definitely go check her out if you haven't and subscribe to her YouTube channel. For this video, we decided to do Pop Art Demons. To see how I created my version, keep on watching. 